Saint Eugene de Mazenod was appointed as the Bishop of Marseille in 1837. A bishop is considered to be the pastor, the shepherd of the church. Eugene took his responsibility very seriously and dedicated himself thoroughly to the pastoral care of the people of Marseille. Eugene held a very high status in the community and in those days, a bishop was considered a prince and in, in many places they were. However, Eugene never lost his place amongst the people. He was known to have an open door policy People did not need to make appointments with him, they simply needed to show up at the bishop's house. Most days there was an enormous line of people waiting to see the bishop, and in those days the bishop dealt with all sorts of matters, not only spiritual. And whether you were the town mayor or the town beggar, you lined up, and Eugene showed no preference to the rich or powerful. Eugene would stay and meet the people even into the night, he wouldn't turn anyone away. Because of his knowledge of Provençal, he mixed with the local people very well. The cathedral and the bishop's residence in Marseille look right out onto the harbour, and Eugene often walked around the port where the fishmongers and their wives would sell their catch. Eugene became very friendly with these hard-working folk and established sodalities for them, so they had an avenue to practice their faith and put it into action by helping one another. Babo, a significant and formidable woman in the community, was known as the Queen of the Fishwives, and she established a strong bond with Eugene. She would even stop the bishop's carriage in the middle of the street, only to walk up and lean into the window and have a chat to him. During one of the later revolutions in France, an uprising formed in Marseille, and word was that the brigands were to burn down the mayor's office and attack the bishop's residence. Upon hearing of this, the fishwives ran to Eugene's aid, forming a human chain and barricading themselves around the bishop's house. This was how much these strong women adored their bishop, and him likewise. What Eugene loved most about being a bishop was being a dispenser of God's sacraments to his people. He was known to hold confirmations in the cathedral for up to 1,700 children. He would be there for hours, and by the end of it would hardly have any voice left. He particularly loved serving the poor and the sick. He was known to dress as a simple priest and wander the dark alleys of the poor neighbourhoods at night, often led by the fishwives, in order to administer the sacraments to the poor, the sick, the housebound, and those excluded from church life. Eugene, among the many other things he had to do, never forgot the important role he was given by God, to be the pastor of his flock, and he truly cared for his people. One could say that he was a shepherd that smelt of his sheep.